uh, I'm Adrian, and I'm going to talk about the uh, system tap and how we can use it to do uh, fun and questionable things. Uh, so just a word about it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm French, I'm Fino, uh, and uh, I'm, I like low-level stuff, uh, you know, the burgers, uh, the kernel stuff, and, and uh, playing with the leap CD and things like that. Uh, so I ended up uh, playing a lot with system tap for the last two years or so. And so that's how I came to think uh, how to, to use it for uh, uh, doing interesting uh, security, potentially security related stuff. Uh, I'm not a developer myself. Well, I, I, I can write code, but I, I, I'm not really a developer. And uh, I'm just a system tap user. And uh, I'm not a VRFA chater. Uh, that's probably because I don't really have users. But, uh, <coughs> Uh, I co-founded the uh, free software user group on uh, yeah. Facebook. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, well, if you live in the Arlo area uh, in Belgium, uh, you probably want to check them out. Uh, it's a good place uh, for technical meetings. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for troubles. <laughs> Sorry, we are full, guys. I think we are full. Okay. Uh, it's way too much. Way so, uh, the, the bastard operator from now, so the VOFH is yeah, the bastard operator from now, it's a supposedly fictional character. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, we would just uh, enjoy abusing his users. So, uh, yeah, if you. Uh, the typical story is like the user calling the, the admin, uh, like, uh, oh, I, I, I don't have any more space in my home directory. So. Yeah, okay, I can fix that. Uh, and uh, they're actually in your own territory for you and the backup as well, so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, free space anymore. Uh, and yeah, that's how the, the bastard operator from L uh, help users, you know, just deleting their files. And stuff. Uh, but we'll see some more subtle ways to handle users and uh, how the bastard operator from L can use system that. Um, so, uh, system tap is, if you, if you look at the, the okay. website, you, you have a nice description uh, explaining how system tap is a useful uh, debugging and tracing tool uh, that will help you to, to figure out uh, both functional and, uh, and, uh, and performance issues. And, but really, I like to think of it as like a, a system-wide code injection framework. Really. Uh, so yeah, if you start to make it like that, uh, that makes things <coughs> interesting. But yeah, basically you can just say anywhere in the system I want this thing. I, w I want to see what's happening just there. Or you can also say I want to actually change all, all these parts of the code behave at any point in the system, uh, be it kernel or application or library or whatever. And uh, you don't have to uh, rebuild the, the whole application uh, or, or the whole kernel or reboot anything. Uh, so yeah, that's a pretty powerful uh, debugging tool. Uh, we'll see a bit more details about this. Uh, so this presentation uh, specifically is about uh, the WFH uh, finding a new toy in the system tab. And uh, we see how the WFH can use system tab to do things to do interesting things. Uh, we're not, yeah, this is the security dev room, um, uh, and, but this is not actually really breaking any security because uh, the VRFH is root already, and uh, we are not, uh, we are not crossing trust boundary or anything. Uh, everything we are going to see, to do here, uh, you can already do it with the root, uh, the root privileges. So you don't really need system tap for that. But system tap made things much easier. I will this is some example of that. Uh, so yeah, uh, there are two parts really. Uh, I'll start explaining system tap uh, and, and see what it can do. And then we'll see some example with uh, demos if I can manage to make it them work. Uh, <coughs> questions so far? Or? So, uh, system tap works in, uh, what it does really is you, you write a system tap script uh, in, a, in a specific language, 
and uh, and there's a the stuff binary that converts that uh, into into C, and the C is compiled into a kernel module, and the module is loaded and stuff uh, communicates with the uh, with the module if it needs to. Uh, so in practice, uh, you end up uh, with something like this. Uh, we run stuff with dash v, so we, we can see actually what happens. So yeah, the, the script is parsed and analyzed, and then <coughs> it's translated into a temporary C file and, uh, with a nice name. And uh, it's compiled into a kernel module that's loaded. And if your script is actually doing some output, that would go there, and you would just add the one. Pretty obvious and boring. Uh, so the system top is all about uh, yeah uh, <coughs> looking into certain things. So we, we want uh, we want to probe specific parts of the system. So we this is yeah this is all about executing certain actions when something happens. Uh, so that's where the, the place where we want to execute the action uh, is called the probe point. And uh, so probe points. Uh, there are some examples of probe points, so you can get an idea of, of where you can uh, uh, tap into the system. So, for example, you 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 say whenever uh, there's a real system call starting, we are going to do something, or whenever we are returning from a closed system call, or you can use wildcard and say uh, whenever we are entering any function in the floppy module, or um, we can say um, whenever we are returning from any function in the socket.c file in the kernel, or whenever we are hitting line 2917 in the scheduler, whatever. Uh, some more examples, you can also say every 200 milliseconds, let's do something. Or uh, whenever. But it's not restricted to kernel as well. You can say whenever uh, we are, uh, yeah, whenever we are entering any function in 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 LS, or uh, whenever we are entering any function that, that has malloc in its name in the libc, uh, we can do something. Or you can combine things with uh, the comma and say whenever we are entering any function in the kernel that has init in the name, or whenever we are returning. From any function that has exit in the node, and that would be a single, uh, but that would be aggregated if, if, as a core part in, in, uh, in the script. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you, yeah, if you, you get into system tab, just read the, the friendly manual, and uh, you will have uh, much more details about all the probes that are available. But that should give you an idea of what you can tap into. Um, <coughs> So uh, the system tab programming language uh, uh, is kind of C, kind of oak, because yeah, obviously you are uh, yeah, we are executing actions whenever we are uh, hitting something. That pretty oak style. Uh, there, are, there are many facilities built in. Uh, I'm not going to go too much in detail in so this presentation about that, but yeah, you have associated variables, the aggregate of statistical data that's pretty useful if you do compiling, but we are not talking about that today. Um, and there are many, many helper functions, uh, both built in within the language and, uh, and available as libraries, that's called tab sets. Uh, that's three uh, system tab scripts that are reusable for the <coughs> And uh, yeah, but if you want the full details, go uh, read the, 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 the manual. So some example of helper function to, to give you an idea. Again, I think most of these uh, are pretty obvious. Um, yeah, we get the PID, so we know what process we are in, what thread we are in, what is the name of the the the, the, the trend process. Uh, Probe function, maybe you can be detailed a bit. Uh, as you have seen, we can use white cards, and so when we give one probe point, that will really match multiple probe points, and we can end up in any of uh, multiple functions. Uh, in that case, probe function will tell you which function we are in. Uh, print back is pretty useful when you're at the beginning stuff, so you can figure out how we ended up there. Uh, 
And uh, WFetch is probably more interested in things like kernel string and user string to uh, you give it the pointer and it will get the, the string at that address and uh, convert it into something usable within system tap uh, in a safe way that you, you are not likely to difference some things that you shouldn't. Well, you probably shouldn't reference it, but it could not track the system. Uh, yeah. And again, there are many more, but that's just an example uh, to give you an idea. Questions so far? So some nice example. Yeah, the example are coming. <laughs> but I, I think you, you need to have some idea what, what the example are. What, you, need, you need this to, to understand the example. Uh, yeah, some more uh, stack options. So you have, uh, by default, if you run a stack script, uh, that, will, that will just uh, trace everything on the system. Uh, if you say dash x, you, you will trace just the specific PID you, you want. Uh, dash C, so you can run just specific uh, process. Uh, something we'll see uh, uppercase L, so you can, uh, that will not run any script, that's what you give it a probe point, uh, and it will uh, it will tell you what variables are available at that probe point, and uh, if you say wildcard, it will give you, it will expand the, the wildcard and tell you what you're going to match. So that's useful when you develop system tab script. Uh, uppercase F is nice to, uh, so the stack will just load the module and then it will kit, but the module will still be loaded. So you will know, you won't have uh, IO, but uh, the module will do what you want it to do. And it's more stilty because you don't have a, a process hanging around. Uh, so yeah, the VRFH is probably interested into that. And you have the dash G, uh, which lets you by default, system tap will not allow you to change anything. Uh, it will just uh, allow you to trace things and observe things. It actually allow you to change things and to actually inject uh, C code, so well, you can do really whatever you like. Uh, so, uh, of course, that's very easy to crash uh, process and, and system uh, if, you, if you change the behavior of the system at one time or other. Uh, that's fun. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <coughs> questions before the examples? Uh, interesting part. So, <coughs> let's see how we can uh, apply this. So, this is an example. Uh, you may know maybe Lip Purple. Uh, it's, it's something that's been developed uh, for Pitkin. And uh, basically, it's a library to. Uh, it's an IM library, so you, you can uh, talk uh, with your friends on ICQ or, or, or IRC or Jabber or whatever uh, through, uh, uh, through Lip Purple. And well, the application doesn't have to care about the protocol. Uh, Lip Purple and those stuff. And uh, every communication basically goes through that uh, function in the purple for purple conversation right with some arguments. <coughs> I have no idea how most of these work out there for, but the who and message are probably interesting. Uh, it's uh, it's yeah it's obviously the person sending the message and the actual message. So we can use system tap here uh, to actually tap into the uh, the library in purple. <laughs> Uh, and instrument the specific function, purple conversation right. And when we're in this function, we just say, we retrieve the, 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 the sender of the message, the actual message, and we just print it. And uh, yeah, I didn't have time to, to get the internet on my laptop, so I cannot really demo this one. Uh, I can show you at the end if we have time. But how, how do you get the who and message variables? How does it know that those are the second and third variables? Okay, uh, that's because you have the debug symbols for that. Oh, I see. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's used the debug symbols. You don't necessarily need debug symbols installed on the machine you are going to instrument, uh, but you need them at some point when you build the system top model. Uh, I can give you more details about that if you like, but I have just a short time. Um, so yeah, I cannot demo this one because I don't have internet. 
uh, it works and it's not. Uh, but so this one, uh, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to skip this one because it, it's not so interesting. And I don't have time, but <coughs> this one is more interesting, I think. So you have, let's say you you have the BIFS and you want uh, you don't like your user to 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 play MP3 files uh, for whatever reason. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> so there's that function in the kernel uh, called uh, may open, and that function uh, you give it a a a, a, a path <coughs> strict. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, and and the kernel determines if the, the that user have access or not. And so the, the may open function returns zero if if the user is allowed to, to access the file or uh, something else otherwise. So what we can do? Uh, so if you look at, at uh, what system tap we'll see uh, for the may open function here, uh, we are going to instrument the return of that function. And uh, and so you see here the variables that are available. Uh, that's using the debugging tools. And uh, you see, so what we can see and change from system tab at that point are uh, well, the return value, obviously, the path. Uh, we're probably interested into that. The rest are, yeah, well, there are more things uh, you can look into if you're interested in. But uh, most of them have no idea what they are for. The system type script we're going to, to write for, for that is, uh, you, you are just going to say, we are, we are instrumenting uh, at the, when that function is going to return. And, well, okay, when that function returns, we look, if, we are going to let root do whatever he likes, so it's easier. Uh, well, we are root after all, so. Um, so, yeah, if the, if we are not root and uh, we are not already uh, disallowing access to the file because the return value is, is, uh, is zero and if in the path of mp3 so this dname and is in SDR are uh, system tab provided functions so dname will, will uh, so here we are the path struct we, we look into the dn tree and we get the, the actual name of the file and is in the star is uh, yeah uh, like to look up if MP3 exists in that file name and if it's the case well we replace the return value with uh, minus 13 for the, to say permission denied but you can give another error code if you like uh, if you like to confuse users even more and so, on. Uh, so I should be able to kill a demo of this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we have the system top script running there. Uh, and we are a user. And uh, well, the thing is. We are instrumenting the may open function, uh, but we can still create files. Uh, so this works, but this won't. <laughs> and you see, we have the rights and stuff. Okay. Is it possible for the user to rename the file? Yes, the, the user is still able to work around this, of course, because well, you are just instrumenting the main open system, so, uh, but so you can still uh, uh, yeah use and rename the and yeah you can say oh it's really OGG file or whatever. But, 
But, well, this is just a little bit. What what distros have system tap by default? Okay. Uh, by default, you have uh, Fedora and uh, all the Red Hat based distribution. <coughs> so, are you saying that by default there's the toolkit for a rootkit on all those? Yeah, it's just yes. already installed and yeah, no, no. access. Yeah, if you are boot, you can you can do this kind of stuff pretty easily on on the uh, on the yeah, on Fedora, on on the uh, old Red Hat based system, and on the the next stable Debian. And uh, probably others. I don't know. I think Gentoo. Uh, Gentoo, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, you want to look at this before? You check the object uh, state of system tap on your distribution. What about debugging? What about, sorry? Debugging symbols on a normal. <coughs> yes, you need to debug table. symbols for, for <coughs> what you're instrumenting at some point. So uh, for the kernel, you, you, you are going to, to need the. Uh, the debug info for the kernel, uh, that's usually shipped as another package uh, along your regular kernel in most distributions. Uh, so yeah, your distribution needs to have prepared for that, or you, you can rebuild your own kernel, but uh, do people still rebuild their kernel? Uh, another example, unless there are more questions? Is there any performance degradation because of this? Well, uh, depending what you're doing, yeah. But for the, the, the example with Mayopen, uh, you are not going to notice anything. Uh, I mean, that's just one function. You are just going to, to, to you have a simple condition. I mean, yeah, you, you are referencing a pointer uh, a couple of times, doing a, a, a string comparison. And, uh, and yeah, checking the UID and, and the return and, and a value you already have in your register, this is not going to cost you any time. Uh, now, if you do more complex stuff, yeah, but that I mean, depends if, if what you, you are doing. If you don't do any complex stuff in your fun functions, but you are just trying to uh, plug into a lot of the kernel functions. Yeah, if you are it going it to plug into a lot of things that are going to be called a lot, you may you may have problems. Uh, there are built-in safeties. I'm thinking detail here. Uh, so, but basically, if system tap notice that it's just going to be too costly, or it's 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 taking more time uh, doing that stuff than actually letting the kernel do whatever, uh, it will just stop and say, okay, uh, <coughs> don't do that. Some kernels come with uh, custom uh, modules that restrict. Uh, this kind of rootkit to to run, like you know, some some kind of patch that that can be proposed and that are applied automatically on the on the kernel and that is allowed, or is there no way to? Well, there are, there are ways to not allow that, uh, but basically you are going to. It's actually a feature that's that's feature, part right? of the kernel. Uh, it's basically based on key pro. Uh, <coughs> so you can when you build the kernel, you can say I, I disable key probes and you will not be allowed to. Well, you not be able, you will not be able to do that. Well, not as easily. Uh, but uh, I don't see the point of a feature restricting another feature uh, if you are already in it. No, I was I was just uh, thinking of a of a guy uh, hacking my my system, then yeah. in, installing the rootkit, and how do I make sure to? Well, if it's well, root, should it's I uh, run all processes encrypted or things like that? Well, I this is Unix. Once the guy have root, it's game over. <laughs> you, you reinstall the versions. That's all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the system tab just make the things easier. You could already do that uh, ten years ago with uh, with your own shellcode and stuff. Uh, it's much harder. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. Five lines of code. Uh, you have. You can just uh, say. <coughs> Do pretty arbitrary things to the, the system. Uh, there are two questions. Uh, is it possible to use system tap against C++ programs? Well, yes, uh, you, can, you, can, yeah, you, you can do. Uh, my example is R for C, but uh, that works as well for uh, uh, C++ and uh, no, there are things for Python and, and Java and, uh, and uh, Perl and other languages. Uh, yeah. No, uh, you were just saying three minutes left, and uh, uh, 
yeah, I can give a very quick example of the uh, that's not the most interesting one. Uh, in three minutes, I'm just going to say, oh, do you like system tap with system tap? Uh, <laughs> 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 so, yeah, last time I gave this presentation, I was asked, can you add system tap with system tap? And uh, yes, actually, you can. Uh, so a couple of hours later, uh, I came up with, with a, a script that do that. So the, the list of modules, well, basically, what you want to find <laughs> is the module. Uh, the, the, the <laughs> So the list of modules is uh, is stored as a list in the kernel, and you just have to, to move the modules around. Uh, when someone is going to look into the list, you just move the, the modules you don't want to show uh, in a list somewhere, and you get it back in uh, whenever appropriate. Uh, so that, this is the function. Here we are using it against uh, uh, StamTap uh, to uh, because we are actually writing to in C. Uh, so yeah, you, uh, you 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 look at this uh, later uh, because I don't have time to detail. But uh, basically, you are, you are using the regular kernel API to just uh, mess with the list, and uh, we are going to store the 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 even models in the in the list. Uh, in a static list in the uh, function. And uh, actually, when all you actually use this is that uh, in the module.c type in the, in the kernel, you have a function called mstart that is uh, called whenever someone tries to read uh, prop modules, which is uh, where <coughs> smart goes to, 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 to see the list of modules. And uh, so whenever we're going to, to to read that file, uh, well, we inject there uh, one okay. <coughs> and uh, what we are doing here, we want to inject just after the the, the mid text, but before uh, we actually do anything with the, the with the list. So that's why the plus two here, and uh, and uh, and we just call the, the function we have uh, uh, written just before to to move uh, the modules along. And uh, we did the opposite uh, when, uh, the, when the user closed the file. So uh, I don't have time for, for the actual demo, but uh, yeah, basically, whenever someone will uh, will open the file, uh, it will it will not show the models you, you are hiding. So you are hiding system type with system type. Uh, and if you want to know more about this stuff, uh, yeah, my slides and, and, uh, and uh, all the examples uh, will be online in a couple of minutes uh, at staff.uafh.french.b. Uh, for system type itself, you probably want, if you are interested, look the beginner's guide on the, uh, yeah, on the, the system type website. There's a wiki as well. There's a lot of excellent documentation for system type. If you are not interested in system tap, you are maybe interested in the bastard operator from other stories. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and uh, I'm still looking. Yeah. Um, I might not be looking for a job anymore, but maybe still. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.